All right, guys, I got some good ones for you today. Seven entry-level remote jobs that are actually always hiring in 2024. I'm gonna be going over the careers, then I'm gonna be going over specific jobs that you can actually apply for. And these are jobs that are hiring right now. And I'm gonna be going over all kinds of important information that you wanna know or need to know to land the job. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a surprise, a content creator. Yes, you can actually do this as as a job. There are a lot of companies out there that want someone to be the face of their brand. And there's actually 207 million content creators in the world. Thanks, TikTok. And content creators make about 41 to $70,000 a year. Now, funny enough, you can be a content creator where, of course, you are your own business. So you're like an entrepreneur. You can also be a content creator where you're kind of like a freelancer. So you just create content here and there for freelance work. You can also be a content creator that's kind of like an agency owner. This is called user generated content or UGC content. And this is basically where you review different brands and you do it in a video. It's natural, it's organic. And then there's a link to the brand in the video. And you can also get hired as a content creator for a job as well. And one company that's hiring right now is the Sasha Group. And this is actually a branch of the VaynerX family of companies, which is owned by Gary Vaynerchuk, the absolute legend. And Gary Vaynerchuk works with some of the biggest brands across the world. So the actual job description would be on vaynermedia.com careers. And you can check out your key areas of responsibility. I'll put it up on the screen. Screen, but basically they don't have that many requirements. There's pretty much nothing there. And the total salary range for VaynerMedia content creators is about 41 to $70,000 a year. So that's pretty on par. So you don't need a college degree or previous experience or anything like that. So yeah, the way you'd apply to this is you'd go to VaynerMedia.com. You can click on careers in the upper right-hand corner and you scroll through the list until you find content creator, or you could check out some of the other careers they're offering as well. Then you click on it and then you go ahead and apply through the links. No one really good course you could take to help yourself prepare for this would be the Art of Visual Storytelling Specialization by Coursera. You could also attend my live training where I go over exactly how I built up this YouTube channel. It's gonna be Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. That'll be down in the description in the pinned comment below. And if you wanna go extra, you could even do coaching with me. I do coach a few people every single month. That's also down in the description in the pinned comment below. You can check that out too. Now, even though this is a super new career, there's actually some pretty well-established careers that you can go into. So senior content creators make about 78 to 137 $7,000 a year and content directors make $108,000 to $192,000 a year. And again, this is in a brand new industry. So these numbers are going to be much bigger, you know, five years from now or 10 years from now. So yeah, really like this one. Um, you know, what can I say? I'm a content creator myself. I think content is the future. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a fulfillment specialist. Now, this is a position where basically you manage customer transactions for different banks banking products and services. And so you're kind of like a conductor of a banking orchestra, orchestrating smooth transactions and harmonizing customer interactions. And fulfillment specialists make about 46 to $69,000 a year. So this is this pays the bills, right? Oh, That's yeah. like pretty good money. Uh, this lady did a day in the life of a shipping fulfillment specialist. So That's a pretty cool video. You can check it out. But yeah, this pays the bills, guys. It's an entry level job, doesn't require a college degree, or any previous experience. It pays the bills. It's not bad. Is it something you want to do for the rest of your life? Probably not. Is it the most fun job in the world? Probably not. But a company that's hiring for this position right now is Regions.com. So Regions is one of the largest full service providers of consumer and commercial banking, wealth management, and mortgage products and services. And Regions has a section of their website where they do economic commentary. And here are the primary responsibilities for the job they're hiring for. And then you can also see the compensation details. And you can see overall the company does have relatively positive reviews. And it doesn't require a college degree, previous experience, anything like that. So you'd go to Regions.com. Com. You'd scroll down the page a bit and then you'd click careers. Then you type in the search box fulfillment solution specialist. Then you click on the remote one and apply. And then you want to highlight relevant customer service and administrative skills on your resume. And yeah, you'd go ahead and apply. Now, some courses that you could take would be the customer service fundamentals course on Coursera. This would be a good one. And some other career paths you might end up going into would be customer service supervisor. That's about 52 to $79,000 a year. And a relationship manager, which is about 142 to $265,000 a year. Now that is a senior level role, but still, you know, you could potentially go into that. So yeah, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an outbound sales agent. And this is somebody who basically makes calls to potential customers who have shown interest in a product or a service, but they didn't quite make
make the purchase. And so you are there to just get them past that line. And outbound sales agents make about 38 to $62,000 a year. This is a relatively easy job to land as well. It doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Here's a video that this guy did a day in the life of head of outbound sales. Pretty cool. Definitely check it out. Now I've said it many times. I think everyone should do at least one sales job in their life. I do think SDR is probably the best sales job to start with. There is some free training, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below on how you can get into that. This training is from coursecareers.com. And a lot of people on my channel have actually gotten jobs using the training, but the company that's actually hiring for this position is going to be next rep. Okay. So this is www.nextrep.com. And they work with a lot of really big companies like Sprint, Priceline, Marmot, Rothy's, Southern New Hampshire University, et cetera. And they're all about human focused contact center solution. And basically they're helping people to create exceptional customer experiences. And they need people to reach out to companies and get them work. And that's why they're hiring for this position. Now it says they pay about 38 to $62,000 a year. So that's about on par. And the way you'd apply for this is you'd go to www.nextrep.com. Then you'd click, see what it's like to be an agent. Then you'd click opportunities and scroll down until you see the outbound sales agent position. Then you want to go ahead and click on that, click learn more, then click work from home as an outbound sales agent and apply for the job. So yeah, pretty easy to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a proposal specialist. This is where you're going to help prepare and manage proposal documents for various different types of companies. And proposals are exactly what they sound like. It's basically one company or, you know, one entity has a proposal for some kind of business deal or partnership with another company. And proposal specialists make about 55 to $79,000 a year. Because as you can imagine, it's pretty important how you put those together. Here's a cool video of a day in the life of a proposal manager. And the company that's hiring for this is actually Covergent, right? So Covergent is hiring right now. And in terms of the actual job description, I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out if you'd like. They pay about 21 to $30 an hour. And it doesn't require a college degree, previous experience, anything like that. So you'd go to Covergent.com. You'd click on careers. You'd click on the United States. But they also hire in Asia Pacific, Canada, Europe, Latin America, Middle East, Oceania, and uh, federal as well. So you can click on any of those, whichever one applies to you. And then you'd write in the search bar program specialist remote. And then you'd look at program specialist. And it's essentially the same thing, proposal specialist and program specialist, because in the description, it actually says proposal specialist. Then you'd click on the job and apply. So yeah, this is a legit company, has really good benefits. This would be a great way for you to get your foot in the door and get started. One training you might take would be the IBM Project Management Foundations Initiation and Planning Certificate. That might be helpful in landing the job and just helping you do it at a high level. Some career paths you might go down would be a uh, proposal manager. They make about 79 to $122,000 a year. And then senior proposal managers make about 117 to $182,000 a year. So you can make really good money going down this career path. So yeah, overall pretty good. Basically ticks all the boxes, really easy to get into good careers to go into later on down the line. It's also a really good company to work for. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a roadside assistance agent. And this is exactly what it sounds like. Someone gets in an accident, they run out of gas, their car breaks somehow in the middle of the night, they need some roadside assistance, they call you and you help them out. You're basically like a lifeline to rescue automotive drivers from any trouble that they could have. In this position, you make about 36 to $51,000 a year. Now the company you'd go for would be Arise and you'd go ariseworkfromhome.com. They pay about 20 to $30 an hour and you'll generally be getting inbound calls for roadside assistance. And you'd wanna click about Arise and choose work from home with Arise. Then you wanna scroll down and click on the view opportunities. Then you scroll down until you find one of these job posts. And then of course you apply. So pretty easy to do. Maybe it's not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it is a pretty good opportunity to get your foot in the door. And in fact, there are some decent opportunities down the line. So roadside assistance team lead, they make about 44 to $67,000 a year. And then roadside assistance managers make about 59 to $94,000 a year. So you can get into higher paying jobs down the line. So yeah, this one's pretty decent. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is very interesting. This is one of those new age careers that just popped up in the last few years. And that's going to be a video captioning AI data trainer. So have you seen seen some of the new AI stuff that's coming out, they're actually making super hyper realistic videos that look like they're high production movie quality. And in some cases, they're making videos that just look like they're recorded on an iPhone. And the ability for AI to do this through just you telling it what to do or you typing out what to do, the reason why it's able to do that is because there's thousands of AI data trainers that are annotating video clips, describing actions and details to help train AI models for various different types of companies. And in this position, you make about forty-three dollars to $73,000 a year. Here's a lady who went through her day in the life of doing this position. And she makes a minimum of $20 per hour doing data annotation and training AI chat.
chatbots. And the company that's hiring for this is Invisible.co. And this company combines artificial and human intelligence to help enterprises capture every opportunity for efficiency, growth, and scale. And they've worked with OpenAI, Microsoft, A121 Labs, DoorDash, and Cohere. And the way you'd apply for this job is you'd go to Invisible.co, then you click on Join Us, and you'd click on the Careers. Then you'd go ahead and click What Role Could You Play? You scroll down until you see Video Capturing AI Data Trainer, and then you go ahead and apply to the job. Now, some training you could take here is the Vanderbilt University Prompt Engineering Specialization on Coursera. You could also take various different AI specializations that Coursera offers, and that could help you stand out. But yeah, this one's okay. I'll go ahead and give it an opportunity score of six out of 10. Next one's gonna be a super easy one to land. It's gonna be a customer support agent. I think everybody knows exactly what you do here. You've probably even worked in this job before in some capacity, but this one is remote. Okay, so customer support agents in general make about 35 to $53,000 a year. And this particular job is offered by Clipboard Health. Okay, this company has a bunch of different rewards for you know treating their employees really well. And if you look at the job description, you can kind of see what the role entails. You can also look at the salary. It's about 40 to $63,000 a year. And it has pretty good ratings online from people who were previous employees. Now the application process, you'd go to clipboardhealth.com, you'd click on corporate careers, then you'll end up on a massive job board. You want to scroll down until you find customer support agent, then you want to click the job and apply. So yeah, it's a customer support role. You don't need to have a college degree, previous experience, anything like that. There are some decent jobs you can actually go into from this one, believe it or not. For instance, customer support agents make about 35 to 53, but customer support leads make 72 to 118 thousand dollars a year and then customer support managers make 89 to 143 thousand dollars a year so you can actually make pretty good money in this position if you go down the line but yeah for most people probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life but still really easy way of landing your first ever remote job getting your foot in the door and getting started i'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score and if you haven't checked it out already i did do a video on work from home worldwide jobs that you can basically work anywhere in the world they're completely fully remote and you can check that video out by clicking right here